Greetings and thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments in God's Word. We're talking about success this week. And uh, like we said in the very beginning, success could mean different things. Success could also be described differently in different seasons of our lives. You know, as a student, success could mean doing well in your studies or doing better than what you've done before. When you get into the workplace, success could mean doing well in the workplace. Uh, success in your marriage, prospering in your marriage, prospering in your family, uh, prospering in uh, a society, you know, all of these things matter. Doing well. Now, I want to bring our attention to one aspect where the Bible talks about being brought into pleasant places. That means being brought into a place of success. And God can do that. Think about Joseph. When he was in Egypt, initially, Egypt was a place of affliction. It was a place of great trouble for him. Everything seemed to go wrong for him. I mean, he was working faithfully in part of his house and suddenly things went wrong. He was thrown into prison. He was in prison. Uh, he helped the baker and the butler. They left. He was still left behind in prison. Things didn't seem so good. But in Egypt, God turned everything around. God brought Joseph into a pleasant place. He became prime minister of Egypt. And imagine how things were turned around. In, and, Joseph, and Joseph himself said, God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. He has caused me to forget my labor and toil. I mean, God has turned this thing around. He's turned an afflicted place into a pleasant place. He's brought him into a pleasant place. And part of experiencing success and prosperity in our lives is seeing God do this kind of thing in our lives. And I want to assure you from God's Word that there, are, that there are promises you can take a hold of so that God can bring you into a pleasant place. In Psalm 16, verse 6, the psalmist said, The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. The enemy lines have fallen. And... God has given him pleasant places to inherit. In Psalm 68, verse 6, he says, God brings out those who are bound into prosperity. They are bound. They are in an afflicted situation. They are bound. God brings them into prosperity. So, God can cause success, prosperity, blessing in your life and mine by turning this around, by bringing us into pleasant places. And today, we will pray. Maybe your workplace needs to be made a pleasant place. Maybe you're doing something else, a business, it needs to be turned around into a pleasant place. Maybe you're engaged in some other work. That needs to be turned around into a prosperous place so that you can then be successful and prosperous. The God of heaven will do it. Let's pray. Father, as you've done, did for Joseph, as we've read in these scriptures, bring, bring your people, Lord, into a pleasant place. Let the lines fall for them in pleasant places and let them have a goodly inheritance. And Lord, those who may be bound, bring them into prosperity, into success, into doing well in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.